poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. The, 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 the intro king. This is your boy intro king, voice of hip-hop. It's Mike Powers. Yo, 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 y
Like, I'm really from the hood. So at the end of the day, this shit is a blessing to get paid off of making words and just coming up with ideas and shit like that. Shit is a blessing, man. I talked to a lot of people that got one foot in and one foot out. And at that time, was it was it did it seem like a struggle to do that, or did you just flip the switch and just left the other stuff alone? Nah, it ain't easy. And that's why I say, like, these young brothers that be fucking up their opportunities and their blessings, you know what I mean? It's, it's fucked up, but it's not easy, man. When you really come from the mud and the trenches, it's not easy. Because at the end of the day, you, like, people will say you change, but you don't change. When you get money, you want to come back to your block. You want to do the same shit you've been doing, but on a bigger scale. And a lot of people can't take that. And it's like, you prison of your own fame. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even come out the house some days. They be like, what the fuck? You feel what I'm saying? Not like I'm a big celebrity, but it's just people want to approach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you is a big fucking celebrity. The fuck we talking about? Fuck is we talking about right now? Niggas need to stop playing since we talking to hell rail right now. Niggas don't know? Nah, I'm just saying, I don't, you don't, that's how you stay humble. You don't think it's yourself like that. Okay, then I'm going to say it for you. So let me ask you this one then. Because of what y'all put down, I'm going to tell you something right now. My son, who's 28 years old right now, okay. this guy went to a school that was mixed black and white, right? A lot of white kids. Some of the, he was wearing the velour sweatsuits. I had, he had 40 of them. Yeah. And some of these kids that wasn't the same color as him might have a problem with a little bit of the stuff he was wearing. But I was going back to college at that time. And there was an ill artist in there who used to do the shoes, the Air Force Ones. And yes, I had my I had this dude make my son some diplomat shoes. Yes. Yes. And when he see this, he gonna go wild. That I'm sitting next to Hell Rail telling this story, telling the truth. Listen, when he walked in school with them whites on, with that big ass bird on the back. Come on now. They ain't know how to act. If you was black, if you was white, you didn't know how to act. My son was too fresh. But that's what Dipset meant to the culture at the moment, if you don't know, if you don't remember that I, as a father, would go out and commission this artist to put their logo on my son's shit so he could walk around with it. You, let's talk about repping the culture for a fucking minute. So, so... Dipset was damn near the only thing moving. When it was all shut down, listen, y'all was damn near the only thing popping, okay? Now listen, do you, at because of what y'all did, because y'all was one of the last Mohicans when everything was just going down south and snap and pop, and y'all kept the New York energy going that we needed, do you feel responsible or that you contributed in some way to this resurgence that's going on right now. Hell yeah, I did, man. Hell yeah. Not to toot my own horn, but I mean, I am Fish Scale Ralph. I am Mr. 36 O's. My catalog speaks for itself, so it's like, I mean, no disrespect to the young guys and, you know, the new artists that's coming up. I like all this new shit that's out, but. Let's not go there, man. We couldn't have got all the way here, real. You know, what I'm trying to say is that for, for in my era to get hot, we have social media, man. You had to be outside, outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, outside. Right now, nigga get hot with one video or one viral moment. Nah, it wasn't like that. Nigga had to really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, oh, I like this nigga video. Oh, he getting 100 likes, 1,000 likes. No, nigga, you had to be outside. You had to really talk that shit. You had to wear that shit. Niggas had to respect you for who you was, not because of your social media presence. And nowadays I feel like a lot of these niggas is winning because of social media. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I ain't no starstruck nigga. I love artists and I love the artistry of it, right? So what you do with the pen, what you do with the cadence, what you do with the voice, that's the thing I'm paying homage to right now and your contribution. And don't never let it be said that somebody didn't say to your face how important what y'all did, the stopgap that y'all was that y'all carried us all the way to this moment, that we back with it right now. Thank y'all for what y'all did. You got something new dropping, I heard. Yes, Sersky, Golden Triangle 3. I put out part one, part two, all independently, and now I'm putting out the trilogy. And with any features on there? What about the producers? Uh, I got new upcoming producers I'm messing with. One called Ray Zach, uh, my other dude, No Gimmicks, that been down with me. Vinny Idol, of course, legendary producer, he's on there. And uh. I got some ghosts. I mean, I got some uh, some guest surprises. 
You know what I mean? Got some guest surprises. Got Cam on there. You know what I'm saying? Got the big homie on there. Got Fat Joe on there. Yo. And, uh, and some other, uh, some other surprises. Yo, bro, thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor to interview you. I might pause. I just did a fucking interview with Hell Bro. Like it. What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers?